Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a pick a card reading. And so this one is going to be on a person that you have either currently or you have had in the past established some sort of a mutual connection. What I mean by that is that this person has expressed interest in you. You've expressed interest in them. There's some sort of a mutual chemistry there. Um, and for whatever reason, it either didn't last, um, it was short lived, but there has been some sort of challenge or separation. And so now you're coming to this reading because you're trying to figure out what's going on in this particular connection. So it's kind of like what spirit wants you to know in regards to any kind of confusion or something when it comes to this connection. So let's go ahead and start. These are the three hearts that you guys can choose from. All of them are from Wing and Bell, but this right here, this silver, black, and red heart for number one. This number two, this is like a Rose Quartz, Archangel Shamuel, Steampunk Heart. And number three, this is Archangel Michael. Unfortunately, my cat Tinkerbell is in heat right now, so you're going to hear howling. I don't really know what to do about it. So if it's a pain in the ass and you guys don't want to listen, I totally get it. All right, you guys. So if you chose, actually, before we get into that, we are using the liminal space. So postcards from the liminal space, Oracle, New Era Elements, Tarot, and wisdom for the healing cards. I'll put all of these decks down below. These two you can get from Amazon. This particular one, I believe you have to order it from a specific website. So again, I'll put everything down below. Oh, come on, Tinks. Give me a break. Give me a break. All right. Number one. You chose number one. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with your soul connection. What does spirit want you to know and understand about this soul connection right now? that's in a state of challenge or separation or both. Let's see what comes through. It's not that deep. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's a little harsh, but let's get the message here. No diving because it's not that deep. Ooh. Man, oh man. Okay, so what I want to say about this, you guys, is that if you chose number one, and this is not your story, choose number two or three. Sometimes that just happens, okay? Sometimes things come up that we don't want to hear, maybe we don't want to recognize, and that's okay too. So again, I want you guys to take what resonates. Five of Swords, I hate it. I hate that card. It's very narcissistic energy. It's somebody who could be you know, really focused on themselves and they don't really care about how their actions are affecting other people. So if you guys are dealing with somebody who's been somewhat narcissistic, abusive in some sort of way, playing games, trying to win at all costs, trying to be in charge of the whole situation, making sure that they're always on top sort of, sort of energy, or maybe this is someone that's connected to them, but we have this energy if it's not that deep. So that concerns me. It concerns me that maybe this person that you are connected to actually isn't as deep or maybe the love that you feel for them on their end, they're not feeling it as deeply as you. So there's an energy of defeat here. The Five of Swords also reminds us that if we're in a sticky situation or a challenging situation or if we've hit a brick wall, the best advice is to just disconnect and walk away from this situation because it might just be a lose-lose, as in there is no sense in trying to battle this because you're dealing with um, almost like dishonest characters, unfortunately. So that's a out of the gate, man. Whew, that's some harsh energy. I don't know. Okay, we have an energy of forgiven. We have the hermit. I'm getting here. This is a spiritual lesson, okay? There's a spiritual lesson when it comes to dealing with this situation or this person. So whatever happened here, again, if, if, if this is not your story, there is absolutely no reason to sit here and put in the comments, that's not my story. Choose number two or three, okay? You have the choice to do that or you can just click off. So this is um, forgiven, forgiven energy, doesn't mean you have to forget what this person did to you. It's probably going to do you good to remember so that way you don't make the same mistake twice with this individual. You might have forgiven this person many, many, many times just to end up in the same spot over and over and over again. So this could be Spirit's way of saying you have forgiven them many times, but has the situation changed? Now it's time for you to 
draw on that strength and wisdom, your higher self with the hermit's energy. Tap into that, your inner knowingness that tells you that it's better for you, perhaps, to be without this person and be on your own than to be a part of this person's chaos and nightmare. That's what I'm seeing here. There's also a spiritual lesson. So something that you were meant to learn through this individual. So sometimes our biggest heartbreaks, our challenges, or even enemies can be our biggest teachers. So it's not a complete waste of time. It would perhaps be a waste of time for you to continue on with this individual, especially after everything that has happened. But now you have an opportunity perhaps to go off on your own now in search of something better. That's the hermit's energy in search of something else. But as in, you're going in search of yourself. You're finding yourself. So some of you could have found yourself or really faced a lot of your own demons and fears and maybe even were severely triggered by this individual. But that this was necessary for your own healing is what I'm seeing here. Some of you may even chose this partner, this type of person, because maybe you have been programmed to love this way. Maybe that's what love is to you. So there could have been all kinds of things here that was wrecking, wreck, wrecking havoc in your, you know, just energy field from previous relationships or just, you know, childhood stuff. And so your vibration could have attracted a similar person, you know, from your past. And so this gives you an opportunity to really heal and clear the cycle once and for all. So, all right, last message imagining more there's something so much better out there for you you guys that's what i'm seeing here whatever this is this person you would be playing it small and settling for this if you stayed so if this person left you already or ghosted you or hurt you or dumped you whatever's happened here i'm getting here that there's something much better for you there's something more for you out there so try not to cry cry over this individual because there was a necessary lesson to be learned and understood here, but this is not a pit stop. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Start over. The fool. Hit the reset button. Go back to the ground. Ground zero. That's what I'm seeing here. So as much as you guys might hate to hear this when it comes to the soul connection, this just means that right now, this is what spirit is suggesting you to do. This doesn't have to be forever. Okay. People can change. But what I'm getting is that there may be a vicious cycle right now that you are on or in with this individual. And so it doesn't look like it's likely to change, you know, tomorrow. So the best thing that you can do is to carry on and move forward and start fresh and start new and imagine more for yourself because it's like you're settling for crumbs with this individual that's not that deep, right? So they may need to go through some things or some learning or lessons and healing in order to become a deeper person that can perhaps maybe offer you something better in the future. So let's go ahead and wrap up what today's lesson is when it comes to this connection. Be mindful of conflict. So you know what's interesting is that the five of swords is a card of conflict. So let's go ahead and see what this lesson is all about. Literally this tug of war, no one's going to win. You see this? It says, name one person with whom you have a power conflict and write an extensive description of the nature of that struggle without assigning blame. Only describe your own issues. Your goal to become mindful that remaining in a conflict is a choice. Oh my God, I can't make it up. See this? You guys can choose because you have free will. You can stay in this conflict. Absolutely. But be mindful of the choice that you're making because this choice that you make either keeps you stuck or you can free yourself and imagine more for yourself. The choice is yours. Okay, so one day this could shift into a more positive direction, but I'm getting as of today, there needs to be a choice that's made for your own healing. Okay, because something might really be causing you a lot of conflict and defeat from a person that's just not able to be deep enough in order to connect with you 
or just see the error of their ways. So you might be wasting time trying to either wait or to get someone to see the error of their ways. They may not be able to do it. So all you can do is forgive yourself and to forgive them for where they're at at this time and just move forward. That's what I'm seeing. So I know that was harsh, you guys. I know you guys are probably just, I don't know, not liking me right now, but that is for number one. Again, if it didn't resonate or you didn't care for that message, you guys can always choose number two or three. All right, you guys, so if you chose number two, this is the heart, no, Archangel Shamuel Steampunk um, Organite, if I can talk. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so what does spirit want you to know and understand about your connection currently? The person that you're confused about or in conflict and or separation with. This one wants to pop up. We have mirror, mirror. Okay, what does that mean? I'm going to go ahead and put those out like this. Mirror, mirror. What does that mean? Ooh. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that you've got two people that may be separated because we do have this mirror, mirror so that you can see one person is here, the other person is down there. There's like a reflection but oppression 10 of wands energy 10 of wands is an energy where we feel burdened we feel overwhelmed we feel like we just can't take it anymore we feel like we just need to basically drop the burden the load and just walk away so i feel like there's two people that feel the same they both feel equally either just exhausted equally burdened by this connection or they're just kind of making a decision to separate because there's too much going on at this present time. So I feel like Spirit's telling you that your other person is feeling the same way as you, as in there's many feelings that are oppressing you both, and it's very similar, okay? Kind of like both people are on the same page to just, they want more relief rather than to continue to be in conflict, we have the energy of yes. Oh, okay. I, I'm definitely getting this energy here because now we have the five of cups. There's sadness here. People are sad. People are really disappointed with this, with how things went with this connection. So if you wonder whether or not your person feels badly or if they felt any kind of uncomfortability with your with your separation or the challenges that you guys went through they did or do so if some of you f were wondering is this one side them am i the only person that felt anything am i the only person that's in pain the answer is no they feel it too the five of cups is an energy here where people feel very sad and melancholy with what's happened here. Definitely a sad energy is what I'm seeing here. So both people are feeling the same. So whatever you're feeling, your partner is feeling as well. So maybe you needed to know that today as a confirmation for whatever reason. We have come back down to earth. Oh, wow. Um, I feel like someone may have left this connection. They, uh, the Eight of uh, Wands here is a card of somebody just like quickly moving forward, even traveling, leaving. But it's like they finally came back, came back down to earth after abandoning or leaving a situation. So now that they're come back down to earth, now that things have settled for them, now, now that they're no longer in that fast-paced energy or lifestyle they're starting to think about you they're starting to think about this connection and they're starting to think about all the energy perhaps that they left you with so somebody may have just abandoned someone and just left them and and just kind of went the other way out of sight out of mind and all of a sudden they're starting to feel the effects of this separation or what's happened between the two of you it's like they can no longer walk away. They finally have had to contend with their feelings or the reality of what's happened. So somebody may have tried to escape something. And I'm getting here that it's come back around for them and now they're having to deal with this energy. 
Hmm. So that might be what you needed to know is that this person is currently feeling the effects of your separation and it's not comfortable. Okay, it's not comfortable. They're starting to feel badly with how things went between the two of you. Now, of course, the Eight of Wands can be an energy of um, communication. As in, they finally have gotten something out of their system. They have finally come back down to reality. And now because of this energy, they may make contact. I'm also getting that as well. What's the lesson here? Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your body. So this says here, on this day, think about one thing that your body requires that it didn't need yesterday. Listen, observe, and pay attention to the physical, emotional, mental, and psychological stresses in your body and respond to one of them fully and consciously. Your goal is to pay attention to your body in every way. So this is about the sensations in your body. Again, it went over everything, emotional, mental. So, you know, your physical body is your physical body, but your body is like your, you know, what's, what's income, like containing, I guess, your soul, not really because your soul's energy. But I feel like what they're saying here, what spirit's saying is listen, observe, and pay attention to all these feelings that you're having, all these sensations that you're experiencing. Because what I'm getting here is that your person is feeling this energy and so you're going to start feeling things in your body you're going to start sensing things because your person is com it's like their energy is communicating with your energy field and because you're connected to them they're picking they're picking up on this energy you're picking up on this energy you guys are sending things back and forth to one another energy you guys are sharing some sort of energy field they're in your energy field you're in theirs do you get it you guys are mirroring each other I wouldn't be surprised if you look at this person as your twin flame or just like a really like a higher connection soulmate. Maybe you don't even have a label and that's fine. But there's some kind of an energy where they they're finally feeling it. They're finally like they finally came back down to earth and it's like it came crashing down reality. And so because of this now they're starting to feel things and you're feeling it. You intuitively know that this person is going through something or maybe perhaps that this person wants to reach out to you, but there's this energy of feeling like, I don't know if I can, it's too much or there's too much water under the bridge, you know? Uh, but whenever I see the five of cups, the five of cups is a card of just feeling absolute regret over how something went. You feel so sad about something. You know, you're, you're so disappointed that things went that way. So I do feel like Spirit's trying to tell you that this person feels a lot of regret over the decisions that they made. And now that they finally come back down to earth from wherever it is that they were, now they're starting to really, really understand something about you and this connection. So I do also get that your person is paying attention now to their, like who they are on this planet and what life is all about. And so they're having some sort of an awakening is what I'm also getting as well. So you guys had to go through something in order for them perhaps to say yes to this connection later on. So that's what Spirit wants you guys to know for whatever reason. I hope it made sense because number one kind of was tough, but number two was sad and disappointing, but really tinks, but also, you know, I feel confirming for those of you that were looking for that confirmation that your person is feeling very similar to you and that they are now having an awakening and an epiphany of some sorts of how they feel towards you in this connection. So that was for number two. All right, you guys, so if you chose number three or the Archangel Michael Organite, let's go ahead and get your messages. So what does spirit want you to know about your connection that is in challenge or separation or that you have a lot of confusion towards at this time? It's not about you. So they're telling you don't take something personal because it's not about you. Your person's decisions, their actions or even inactions is about them. It's not about you. Ace of fire. Now, the Ace of Fire is our 
fire, our flame. It's kind of like Survivor, that TV show where they say, you know, get your fire. The fire is your life. It represents you. It represents you in the game. That's kind of how I see the Ace of Fire. It is that one wand that is you. So it is your life force, your energy. So what I'm getting here is that it's not about you. You might want to make it about you, but it's not about you. This person is going through something and they have their own lessons to navigate. And you also have your own journey to navigate as well. So there might be some sort of a message here in regards to staying in your own lane at this time and trying not to focus too much about what the other person is doing. We have the veil is thin. To me, this is an energy of um, Halloween, October 31st or Samhain, same thing. We have the Seven of Swords. Whew. So this is what I'm seeing here. The veil is thin, meaning like, it, like a, a, a illusions, okay? If the veil is thin, we're able to see something. So our illusions are, we, we can't hide behind illusions. We can't hide behind the curtains. Our curtain, when the veil is thin, we're starting to see something. Now, what are we starting to see? Deception, meaning we're starting to see what we didn't want to see before. We can't deceive ourselves any longer. We have to see the truth because that veil is so thin. The answers are trying to come to us. And so the seven of swords, if there has been some sort of a betrayal or we've been lying to ourselves or someone else has been lying to us, there is an energy here where this veil is very thin as in things are going to be revealed. Any deceptive energy, any delusions or any kind of lies, any truth that needs to be delivered, this veil is thin right now as in we can get the answers that it is that we need about this connection. Or maybe somebody is delivering truth. I'm getting here that somebody's lies are not about you. A lot of the times when we're lied to, it is very, very normal to take it personally. Like, oh my God, I can't believe that they lied to me. Well, yeah, they lied to you because they're a jackass. They lied to you because they're weak, because they're, I don't even want to say it, but you know, they, they lied because they're afraid. That's why people lie. I mean, there are some people that lie for fun because they're crazy and they're narcissistic or sociopaths or whatever you want to call it. But your normal average person will lie because they are afraid, because they can't deal with something, because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions or they don't want to upset someone. Because that's fear. So their fear and their inadequacies to where they're lying to you or themselves is about them. It's not about you. So try not to take it so personally is what spirit is saying here. You know, being lied to really, really sucks and it's not acceptable. Okay. But I've seen people that have lied in the past. Let's just say when you were a young kid, you lied. You lied because you wanted to seem more important than you really were. And so you fibbed here and there. Um, I, I know people that have done that. I know people that do it right now and I hope they grow out of it. And that's what I'm saying. There are people that grow out of it. They, they, they have that chip on their shoulder or whatever the situation is, but you know, people grow, they mature. They, they don't want to be that person anymore. So that's like your normal average line. Maybe you've got a player, a cheater. Again, people can always change unless you're a sociopath. Probably not, but people can usually change. And that's just what I'm seeing here with this particular energy is that someone can change. Somebody's deceptive ways is being revealed to them. Who somebody is, it's like karma might be having its way or they may have been lied to themselves. And so because they've been lied to themselves, they now start to see things from other people's perspective of how damaging lying can be and how crappy it feels. So sometimes it takes us to experience something in order for us to truly, truly understand it. At least that's how normal people work. So that's just what I'm seeing here. There's some kind of an energy where something is becoming very, very clear because this veil is thin. Per your person is seeing the error of their ways or something is being revealed to you about this situation, or both. But at the end of the day, somebody else's just 
damage is not about you. It's about them. So hopefully that will help you to take a load off. Invisibility mode. Ooh. Son of water. This is the Knight of Cups. So this is an energy of a love offer, somebody offering their cup of love. But what do we got here? We got invisibility mode. So somebody is not showing up to offer this. Again, this is not about you. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that you're flawed. Something's going on with your person. So they've got to figure it out. They got to figure out who they are. They got to figure out what they want. And the only way that they can do that perhaps is by going into this invisibility mode. This could be a ghosting type of a situation that just seems to be a popular choice for, I don't want to say the word, I'm not going to, weak people. <laughs> weak people do that. Uh, weak people basically ghost and they run away like little babies. So, you know, it's not something to be proud of, most definitely. But um, it's not necessarily unforgivable, especially if you can look at it and see that, well, you know, that person's inability to fess up to something or to face something or to be truthful with themselves or maybe even see themselves in a very truthful way. Um, that's on them. That's not on you. So uh, again, there is some sort of a need for someone to get very clear about their own stuff before they can really appear and be available for you in a way that maybe you're looking for in your life. So if you're wanting this son of water, which is a king of, I'm sorry, knight of cups to come towards you with an offer of love, I'm getting that that might not be the best idea right now because that seven of swords energy is still around your situation and it needs to be blown out of the water. That needs to be dealt with. So that might be another reason why this connection is in challenge or separations because whatever this is needs to get cleared up. So what is the lesson here? What is today's lesson when it comes to this? Expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. Something will come into your life that will serve your healing. So be open to it and express gratitude when it occurs. Your goal to know that the world becomes a vessel for the divine when you see the divine in all things. Wow. So the fact that Spirit is saying expect a miracle, there could be a miracle healing here. So this is the deal. The veil is thin right now. I feel like Spirit is really working with your person right now because that veil is so thin. So when the veil is thin, the spirit world and the living world, 3D world, are almost like intertwined. So that's why I said, you know, um, Halloween time, Samhain, that's an energy where people usually will work with ancestors and honor the dead and that sort of thing, because traditionally that's around that time. Now, it doesn't mean you can't do that type of work any other time of the year, but the veil is thinnest at that time. So what I'm picking up from spirit is that they're trying to say that spirit is closely trying to uh, work with your individual and, if, and, and basically help to guide them to see the seven of swords crap that is a part of them, some sort of an internal flaw that has been a real big issue and a problem for them for quite some time. So while this person is maybe not present in your life, there could be some sort of miracle healing that's taking place. So what's, what, what, what I'm getting here at the very end is that miracles do happen. If you're seeing this individual as there's no freaking way this person can ever change, spirit might be saying, want to bet? It could happen. It could happen. So you're not meant to sit around and wait for this individual. That's not the message of the reading. You still got to live your life. It's not about you, okay? You still have things that you got to do too. So... This person is in need of a miracle healing, and I'm getting here that spirit is with them right now and assisting them with just that. That's what I see. So this person may, after a invisibility mode in your life, finally turn off invisibility mode and actually come into your life and offer you something when they're feeling ready and when they're no longer in that seven of swords crappy energy. 
All right, you guys, I know some of those messages were challenged, or wow, I'm challenged, obviously, with even speaking today. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if not, no worries, there will be other pick cards down the line. All right, take care. Bye-bye.